Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Thanks for getting up early with us today. Even if you don't have the day off today, you can still hopefully enjoy some sunshine today and maybe at least one hot dog or hamburger or food of your choice right on this Independence Day. If you're throwing something on the grill later today, it'll be beautiful for it. This may be what our skies look like actually later today, but let's talk about our 4th of July history in numbers. Typically, our high temperature in the city of trees for Independence Day is right around 88 degrees. Here's the last three years. So for last year in 2018 and 2017, we were well above average, up near 100 last year. 101 was the high on the 4th of July in 2017, then 86 degrees in 2016. So we will be much cooler than all of those numbers for our high temperature in 2019 in Boise today. The record high for the 4th of July in Boise, 106 degrees. And then look at that, the coolest high temperature we've ever had was when Boise only hit 64 degrees back in 1986. That was the high temperature. So that's a cool Independence Day. So today will be about 83 degrees, maybe 82 or so in Boise with mostly sunny skies. And then after that, temperatures take off for the rest of the holiday weekend, at least through Friday and Saturday. So the heat is really on. Lakes will be crowded. The water park will be crowded. Uh, I know Eagle Fun Days is Friday and Saturday. Saturday as well. So Saturday, that wet and wild parade, there's nowhere else you may want to be except having a uh, hose of a fire truck aimed at you as you sit out in 90 degree weather, right? We still have some moisture sneaking in from the south. We saw some stormy weather over in eastern Idaho late last night into early this morning. A couple of showers trying to develop over the Owyhees, but we're seeing that moisture kind of get wrung out as it comes over that mountain range and will likely not amount to much, if anything, for our neck of the woods up in the mountains, though, as this area of low pressure is still in play, but weakening. We are watching the possibility of just a few storms, so we'll be high and dry across the Treasure Valley. Lots of sunshine, lighter winds than yesterday. This is what I'm concerned with from about three to six o'clock looks to be the window for some central mountain thunderstorms popping up, possibly some downpours at times, maybe even a little hail and some gusty winds associated with those. But the good news is as we lose the heat of the day, which is kind of the fuel for those thunderstorms, here's 10 o'clock tonight. It should be beautiful for those fireworks over Payette Lake in McCall as those convective thunderstorms start to die down. But still, just be ready for it. If you're planning on doing some grilling or some barbecuing up in the mountains, you may have to move the food indoors briefly into the RV before things clear out again later in the evening. If you're sticking around the Treasure Valley, here's what you can expect for your Independence Day. 86 for Ontario today, a little cooler as you head towards CUNA and Boise with those highs right around 82. Up in the mountains, Boise Mountains mid 70s for Idaho City, 79 for Garden Valley with mostly sunny skies and that slight chance of some scattered storms. Could see a storm over in the east central mountains as well and high temperatures right around 70 today. Twin Falls, you'll see 77 with a mix of sun and clouds for your Independence Day. There's that heat that ramps up for the next couple of days and clouds and slightly less hot temperatures come in for Sunday with those highs in the mid 80s.